Good day, everyone. In this video, we will be talking about combination. And I would like to give thanks to Miss Sarah Jane A. Ginoo, a co-teacher of mine, for making the PowerPoint in behalf of the Math 2 teachers. Thank you so much, Miss Sarah. And if you might be wondering, students, what is a combination? As we define combination, a combination is a grouping of items in which order does not matter. There are generally fewer ways to select items when order does not matter. And that is combination. The main thing that you're going to remember if we will be talking about com combination is that the order is insignificant or the order does not matter. It is clearly stated here. And in this example, it's represented on how are we going, what is the probability of choosing two items from three balls, right? And if order matters, we are going to select it like this. Remember, we have three balls and labeled as A, B, C. Uh, it's possible that in choosing the two balls, you are, going, you are going to get first A followed by B or A followed by C. It can be B followed by A, B followed by C, C followed by A, C followed by B. Because in that case, order matters. Okay? Order matters here in permutation. And that's why in selecting uh, two balls out from three, that is six possible ways. Because it can be A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But if the order does not matter, we are going to label that one as 3, C, 2, or the combination of taking 2 from 3 balls. And that's 3 taken 2. Because it's possible that it's A, B, A, C, and B, C. And there, that's only uh, the possible way of... Uh, choosing this uh, two certain number of balls from three. And that's how we differentiate permutation from combination. In, permu in permutation, order matters. And in combination, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. So using your calculator, uh, you can check the value there for 3C2 by pressing three and then shift and cr two then the answer there is three that's why it's one two three possible ways using comb combinations and to discuss further to find the number of combinations the formula for permutations can be modified uh, given a permutation, we will just modify its formula in order to solve for the combination of a certain problem. Number of permutations is simply equal to ways to arrange all items all over ways to arrange items not selected. That's for permutation, which is represented by NPR, which is n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial. That is for permutation. Because order does not matter, divide the number of permutations by the number of ways to arrange the selected items. And that's for the number of combination. Again, you need to understand that in combination, order does not matter which means we will divide the number of permutations by the number of ways to arrange the selected items. That's why we have it here, ways to arrange all items. And here in combination, just the same for the numerator, ways to arrange all items all over ways to arrange selected items, which means the things that we selected, times the ways to arrange items not selected. That's how it differs. 
And this is the formula for combination. Take note for this one. That's N C3 or N taken R, which is equal to N factorial all over R factorial times the quantity of N minus R factorial. So this is the formula for a combination. You can uh, copy this one and make sure to familiarize the formula for combinations. For numbers and algebra, let's try to uh, give implications. The number of combinations of seven items taken three at a time is 7C3, and that's equal to 7 factorial all over 3 factorial. This is the R factorial, right? Which is 3 times N minus R, 7 minus 3 quantity factorial, just like this. The N is 7. And R is 3, and we have here N minus R, and that's 7 minus 3. It is the number of combinations of N items taken R at a time. That's for algebra. And this is for substituting a certain number for a combination. This is only an example. Don't worry about that. Helpful hint. You can find permutations and combinations by using NPR for permutation and NCR for combinations, respectively, on scientific and graphing calculators. If you have your own scientific calculator, that's better. And if you don't have, you can also access free applications for scientific calculators or online calculators. Don't worry. Yes, you're allowed to use calculators in solving combinations also. Let's try to examine example number one. There are 12 different colored cubes in a bag. How many ways can Randall draw a set of four cubes from the bag? Okay, make sure you, you have understood the problem, which is drawing Drawing a set of four cubes out of 12 different colored cubes from the bag. And we are going to represent it below. Step one, determine whether the problem represents a permutation or its or combination. In this case, it is a, if you draw some cubes, does the, does the order matters? No, it is not. Therefore, the order does not matter. The cubes may be drawn in any order. It is, therefore, a combination. Step two, we will use the formula for combinations. Given n is equal to 12, which is 12 different objects, uh, uh, colored cubes and r is equal to 4 because we will be picking a set of 4 out from the 12 cubes. And we will represent it like this. That's 12c4 or 12 taken 4. Uh, substituting it to our formula, that's 12 factorial over 4 factorial times the quantity of 12 minus 4 factorial. And that's equal to to 12 factorial over 4 factorial times 8 factorial because 12 minus 4 is 8. And therefore, we, ex we divide out common factors. As we expand 12 factorial, that's 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 until times 1. And as we expand 4 factorial, that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we expand also 8 factorial, that's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 for 8 factorial. And that's, in this case, we cancel out this one because they are common factors. Therefore, the remaining values will be simplified. That's 12 times 11 times 10 times 9, all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And I, what I did here is I simplified it because we can, 4 times 3 is just equal to 12, right? And then 10 divided by 2, that's 5. That's why we cancel out 2 and then we cancel out 10, change it to 5. 
Therefore, the answer there is 495. In your calculator, you can simply press 12C4 and you will get the answer directly and that's 495. There are 495 ways to draw four cubes from 12 or from the given, which is 12 different colored cubes. Mm -hmm. Now let's have example number two. The swim team has eight swimmers. Two swimmers will be selected to swim in the first heat. How many ways can the swimmers be selected? And we represent it this one. Just the same because if we are going to choose uh, two swimmers, the order does not matter. So automatically, uh, that's combination. That's 8 taken 2 and that's equal to uh, 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial because I simplified it here. 8 minus 2, that's 6 factorial. Then divide out common terms. We expand each uh, value for, for the factorial. 8 factorial is just equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 6 factorial here below is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Then we cancel out this as a common factor. And then the remaining value will be 8 times 7 all over 2 times 1. That's, uh, you can also cancel out sim or simplify it. That's 8 over 2, which is equal to 4. Or 8 divided by 2, that's 4. We cancel out 2 below. And then on the denominator, and that's 28. 4 times 7, 28 divided by 1, 28. The swimmers can be selected in 28 ways. And this is our final answer for this example. How about example number three? A committee of five consisting of three girls and two boys is to be chosen from a class with 15 girls and 10 boys. How many distinct committees are possible to form? Okay, our uh, we need to find or how many distinct committees are possible to form, which means a committee of five consisting three girls and three girls and two boys out from 15 girls and 10 boys. From 15 girls, we need to choose three. And then from 10 boys, we need to choose two. And that sums up to five, a committee of five. Using the multiplication rule and combination formula, the total number of committees follow. That's 15 C3 because we will be taking 15 for all the girls, right, we will be taking 3 out of 15. So that's 15 taken 3. And for boys, that's 10 taken 2 because we will be uh, choosing 2 boys out of 10. Represented here, times 10 taken 2, which is equal to, that should be multiplied because we are using here the word and 3 girls and boys. That's equal to 15 factorial all over 3 factorial times 12 factorial times 10 factorial all over 2 factorial times 8 factorial, and that's equal to 20,475 committees. If you can write it in your cal calculator, 15C3 times 10C2, then get the, the answer, that's okay. No need to uh, represent the formula. But if you uh, don't have any calculators, then you need to start with the formula and substitute the given for you to solve it systematically. Now let's proceed to example number four. There are five defective light bulbs in a bin containing 60 light bulbs. How many ways can you select at least four defective lights, light bulbs, when you choose six light bulbs at random? Okay. So the problem states here that how are we going to select four defective 
as we choose six light bulbs at random. Again, at least four defective light bulbs when we choose six light bulbs at random, which means a total, that's a total of 60 light bulbs, right? And if you're going to separate that, there are five defective light bulbs and 55 functioning light bulbs in the bin. The possible combinations include first, okay, that's the first case, four defective light bulbs and two functioning light bulbs. That simply means it's a total of six, right? Because we will be choosing six. Four defective because it states here at least four. The least, the least uh, defective should be four. That's why we state here case number one. That's 5C4 times 55C2, and that's equal to 7,425. 5C4 he represented, uh, represents 5 taken 4, which means 4 defective, taking 4 defective or choosing 4 defective light bulbs from 5 defective light, light bulbs times 2 defective, uh, we will be choosing two, defect, uh, 2 undefective or 2 functioning light bulbs from 55 functioning. We need to mul multiply them. Yes. That's for the first case. Followed by the second case. Five defective light bulbs and one functioning light bulbs. If you might be wondering, oh, sir, why are we including five defective light bulbs? Because it is clearly stated here, how many ways can you select at least four defective? The least one should be four, which means uh, we include four, five, six, right? And we do it like that. That's five defective light bulbs and one functioning light bulb. That simply means 5C, 5C5 or 5 taken 5 times 55 taken 1, and that's equal to 55. Since the two events are mutually exclusive, we use addition rule for counting, and you will have before, uh, after this case, first case and second case, you're going to solve the total of each case. So you will add the, to the answer of each case. So that's 7, 4, 2, 5 plus 55, and that's equal to 7, 4, 80 ways all in all as we answer the problem. Since there are only five defective light bulbs, we will stop at five defective light bulbs. We cannot proceed with six defective light bulbs because we limit our defective in as five. That's why five C five should be the last one, and there are only there should only be two cases here. Okay, and this is the final answer. So it should take time in uh, solving the first case, second case, and then you add each cases, and you have it here the total, which is seven thousand four hundred eighty ways. Let's have example number five. In a club, there are eight women and five men. A committee of four women and two men is to be chosen. How many possibilities are there? It should be how many possibilities are there? Again, a committee of four women and two men is to be chosen, which means it is a committee of six consisting of four women and two men out of eight women and five men. That is basically combination. And then we multiply each starting with women. That's four women. That's eight taken four and followed by two or multiplied by the two men is to be chosen. That's five men taken two which is equal to 700 possibilities. And that is our answer. How about example number six? 11 students put their names on slips of paper inside a box. Three names are going to be taken out. How many different ways 
can names be chosen? In this scenario, again, the order does not matter. Therefore, it's basically combination that's 11 taken 3 because 3 names are going to be taken out out of 11 students who put their names on slips of paper inside a box. And that's equal to 165 ways. We have now example 7. A box contains 6 red balls, 5 blue balls, and 10 green balls. In how many ways can you choose A, 2 red balls, and 5 green balls? So that's a total of 7, right? But from red, we will just choose 2 out of 6 and then 5 out of 10. We are going to multiply each combination. Let's start first with 6 taken 2 times 10 taken 5. And that's equal to 3780 ways. Letter B. How about 3 blue balls or 3 green balls? Which means either, either of the two. It might be three blue balls. So we have here five. So we'll be taking three out of out of five or three green balls taking three out of ten. So that's five taken three or ten taken three. That's basically addition. Look at here the we're using or and that's addition. For and we use multiplication for or addition. 5C3 plus 10C3, that's equal to 130 ways. 5C3 because 5 blue balls taken 3 blue balls. 10C3 because that's 10 green balls taken 3 green balls. Then we add each combination. Letter B, 10 balls. So just, uh, that's an overall, no specification for color. 10 balls out of the total. Then that is 21 taken 10. Because when you add that, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 10, that is 21. Which means a total of 21 taken 10 balls, that's equal to 305, 352 and 716 ways for 10 balls. Now let's proceed with exercises. So it's your time to answer. Let's start with number one. I'll give you two to three minutes or you can pause it for a while in order to solve number one. I hope you got the correct answer. I forgot to uh, post the question. It should be, how many sets or groups of four marbles are possible for letter A? So let's start with letter A. How many sets or groups of four marbles are possible? From the problem, a bucket contains the following marbles, four red, three blue, four green, and three yellow, yellow, and that's 14 total marbles. So in question A, how many sets or groups of four marbles are possible? I'll give you two to three minutes, or please pause the video so you could solve it first before I'm going to present the correct answer. It should be represented like this. 14 taken 4 at a time, and that's equal to 1,001 sets of 4 marbles. How about letter B? How many sets or groups of 4 are there such that each one is a different color? Again, how many sets or groups of four are there such that each one 
is a different color. I'll give you time to answer. Okay, then it should be represented like this. That's 4C1 times 3C1 times 4C1 times 3C1. And that's equal to 144 sets. Why is it like that? Because it mentioned here that each one is a different color, right? So if we have uh, four, how many sets or group of four are there such that each one is a different color? So we start with 4C1. If we take one color, that's uh, let's say red, right? So which means the blue, I mean the red cannot be chosen next time. And once we've, uh, since we're done with red, we need to, to continue with blue green or yellow, right? And that's times 3C1 followed by times 4C1 because that's for green times 3C1 for yellow. The first or the value of N in each combination represents the number of each color. We have four reds, so that's a 4C1. 3 blue, that's 3C1. 4 green, that's 4C1. 3 yellow, and that's 3C1. We multiply each, and that's equal to 144 four set, which means each one is a different color because we only take one on each color. Okay, so the same given. How many sets of four are there in which at least two are red? Again, at least two are red. So you need to count first how many red here. So possible at least two. So you could have two red or two red for the first case, three red for the second case, and four reds for the third case. Let's start with case one. And this is case two and this is case three, which means that's four C2 or four taken two times. 10 taken 2, and that's equal to 270. Why do we need to multiply 10 taken 2? Because we're talking about four sets, a sets of sets of four overall from 14, which means it should still be a combination of 14 total marbles, which at least two are red. So Let's start first with 2, that's 4C2 times 10C2, and that's 270. And how about if the red can possibly, possibly 3? So that's 4 taken 3 times 10C1, and that's equal to 40. And lastly, 4C4, and that's equal to 10. Okay, so I hope you get each case. So this is case number one, uh, a set of four no, out of 14 total marbles. Then we need to choose from four red, I mean at least four. So you need to choose four, but at least two are red. That's what I mean. So let's we have it here, taking two. Therefore, the other two should be other colors. That's why... 3 plus 4 plus 3, that's 10. And when we have at least 3 red, which means we need to choose 1 from either blue, green, and 4. That's 3 plus 4 and 3. That's another 10. So that's why it's 10C1 there. And lastly, we will just choose 4 out of 4 red. That's 4C4 all in all. And we add them. And that's equal to 270 plus 40 plus 1. That's 311 sets. How about letter D? How many sets of four are there in which none are red, but at least one is green? Again, 
no choosing red. So we will not choose from red, but at least one is green. So choosing four or sets of four, none are red and at least one is green. So I'm going to give you time for letter D. Or you can pause the video. And I hope you got these answers. For the first case, that's 4C1 times 6 C3. Since we are talking about green at least one, so it's we have four green all in all. So that's 4C1 first times the remaining. We are going to disregard red because we will not choose red. So that's 3 plus 3. So that's 6C3. And that's equal to 80. And then for the case number 2 or for the second case, 4C2 times 6C2. Because that's 4 all in all, right? And it's equal to 90. For the third case, that's 4C3 times 6C1, and that's equal to 20. And for the fourth case, that's 4C4, which is equal to 1. Then we are going to sum all of these possible ways in each cases, and that's equal to 80 plus 90 plus 20 plus 1. And that's equal to 191 sets. And that's the answer. And that ends our discussion about combination. If you have further questions, you can comment down your questions below. And I hope you're going to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.